session. Of course, they Still conclude playing. tomorrow night. Back underway as well on table two, where Neil Robertson has come from 6-2 down to level with Mark Selby at 6-all. Of course, the thing on that table is now there's been an interval that's halted Robertson's momentum. So, be interesting to see if that makes any difference. But you can see the Aussie at the table early in the next frame. These long matches, two session matches, momentum is massive and Selby Robertson match obviously Selby had the momentum. Now it's with Robertson. How long can he keep it going? And a lovely long pot stroked in by Ronnie Sullivan. One. Six out of nine long pots, pretty decent. Pot success is at 95%, which is impressive. Three. Four. Nine. Of course, David of Selby Ten. was to lose. Ronnie wins. Got a new world number one. I think that might be good for Mark Selby, actually. Yeah, I mean, he's been there over four years, which is very impressive. There was a debate on Twitter yesterday, as there tends to be on Twitter, about most things, about, you know, is he a deserving number one? Well, yes, he is, because he's been number one. Simple as that. Won a lot of the tournaments 16. that carry big first prizes. But, of course, those points coming off on the two-year system is part of the problem, and he hasn't done as well this season as in previous years. So points not going on. I think it might possibly free him up a little bit. 23. At the moment it seems, because he's not playing so well, it seems like a little bit of a burden. 24. But anyway, that will be decided at some point in this tournament. Ronnie Sullivan's not got the best angle on this black. If he wants to disturb the reds. Will be a plant. Is there to the left corner? Hmm. It's maybe not dead on to the middle of the pocket, but no problem at all. It's pretty un, pretty much unmissable, really. Just depends on how he wants to play it. Does he want to follow the cue ball, disturb some more reds, or just stun over for the black to the same pocket? Thirty-one. Well, choosing to go for the blue, and it's that's pretty much perfect. And look at the, the target, just through that little gap into the middle of the bunch. Oh, he's hit it perfectly. I thought he might just go in with a little more pace than that. He's okay. He's on this red. Thirty-six.
37. Might on the blue to the left middle, but can he avoid the cannon on the yellow? It's obviously a natural, so that's why he's aiming down in the cue ball. That is a beautiful shot. It really is. And that's the best shot of the match so far. 42. Looks ominous in this frame then. And that would mean two big frames to come this evening, certainly for Bingham looking to keep in touch overnight. 45. So this black and then another red and it should be 4-2. 52. And every chance of a second century of the evening. 60. 69. Frame's been going seven and a half minutes. Seventy-six. Eighty-one. Eighty-two. Well, this is why the good people here in Clendino were queuing two hours before the match to get in to watch performances like this. Yes, yeah, almost kind of gone under the radar. Nice. This performance really is a 96% pot success rate now. I think the, the fact that Stuart Bingham won the second two frames, I think, to make it 2-2, two -two, takes your mind off how good Sullivan's been tonight, really. Well, we're still counting them. That's 1,002 now. Terrific break. He played that great shot, didn't he, on the blue early on. Seven. And once he nailed that one, it just looked a formality. He would go on and win the frame. 113 from Ronnie O'Sullivan, short and sweet, has given him his two-frame lead.